Joe Biden's easiest pathway to re-election and basically which states can give him the easiest shot at 270 basically on the electoral map. So let's get started. Joe Biden is actually projected to win Colorado and he's likely to win New Mexico as well. So we can fill those right off the bat and same goes for Virginia. He's pretty likely to win that as well. And Joe Biden is also comfortably likely pretty much to win New Hampshire and I think Minnesota will lean for Joe Biden. So right off the bat, you can already eliminate those states from being, I would say, competitive. They're not really contender states. And you can also say Michigan will lean towards Joe Biden. On the Republican side, Donald Trump is pretty much, I think Texas is going to lean for Donald Trump and Donald Trump will win Florida comfortably with a likely margin so you can get that out of the way. And same for Ohio and Iowa, you can get those two states out of the way as well. They're likely comfortably going to Donald Trump. And let's just let's just say Donald Trump does win North Carolina because he did back in 2020. He already defeated Joe Biden in 2020 when it comes to North Carolina. Let, let, let's, let's characterize North Carolina tilting for Donald Trump narrowly slightly because he did win it in 2020. Let's see if he can do it again. Let's just say Donald Trump does win North Carolina because of that. I, mean, I think that's how it, it's looking like as of right now. So let's have characterized North Carolina tilt for Trump. And then it really comes down ultimately to these, I would say, six states. Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Five states, sorry. So now we talk about Joe Biden's easiest pathway to re-election, easiest pathway to 270 basically on the electoral map which states will be the easiest for him to win the election and I think Joe Biden is going to win Pennsylvania in 2024 I think Pennsylvania will be a key state for Joe Biden and if Joe Biden is able to win Pennsylvania which I think as if right now as if right now things can change but as of right now I do have Biden winning Pennsylvania slightly and narrowly of around one percentage point which is a tilt margin very close Joe Biden's not gonna win this not gonna win Pennsylvania with a crazy margin of like 10 percent double digits nothing like that not even five percent but I think he's just gonna win it by around one percentage point as of right now it's gonna be close in my last video I actually talked about how Joe Biden has this electoral map advantage and this is proof right here Joe Biden just winning Pennsylvania, Michigan, Minnesota, and New Hampshire alone can already get him to 260. Hear me out. Joe Biden only winning Michigan and only winning Pennsylvania already gets him to 260. So out of these gray states remaining, out of these battleground swing states remaining, all Joe Biden needs is one of them, counting out Nevada, because he's already at 260. Counting out Nevada, Joe Biden needs at least one of them. He needs at least an Arizona or a Georgia or a Wisconsin. And I think out of these four states remaining, Joe Biden is obviously probably has a better shot at winning Nevada than any of these other states remaining. But let's say if Nevada does go to Donald Trump, narrowly tilt margin of just around 1% or maybe even one, under 1%, Donald Trump still is only, is only at 241 and Joe Biden's at 260. So we can give Nevada to Donald Trump and Joe Biden can still win the election. Hear me out. Joe Biden can afford to lose a lot of these states and still win re-election. Joe Biden can win, lose states that he won in 2020 and still win. Joe Biden can lose Nevada and he won in 2020 and he can still win. Joe Biden can lose Wisconsin. He won it in 2020. He can afford to lose Wisconsin and still win the election. Biden can afford to lose Georgia and he still can win the election. Let me show you how. Joe Biden can lose Georgia and still win the election. Let's characterize Georgia for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is still only at 257. Joe Biden can afford to lose Wisconsin even though he won in 2020. He can afford to lose Wisconsin and still win. Let's characterize Wisconsin for Donald Trump. Let's flip Georgia. Let's flip Wisconsin. Let's flip Nevada. That is already three flips for Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is still below 270. Hear me out. Donald Trump is at three flips. Donald Trump flips Nevada. Let's say Donald Trump flips Georgia in 2024. And Donald Trump flips Wisconsin. He flips these three states. 
Trump flips Nevada, he flips Georgia, and he flips Wisconsin. He is still below 270, and that's the electoral map advantage I'm talking about for Joe Biden. All Joe Biden needs is Arizona. Let's characterize Arizona tiltly for Joe Biden, and that puts him above 270 at 271 electoral votes. So Donald Trump can flip three states. That seems like a lot, and it is a lot. Flipping three states is huge if you can do it. But that still does not put Trump at 270. Hear me out. Donald Trump can flip Nevada. He can flip Georgia. He can flip Wisconsin. That is huge for the Trump campaign. But guess what? Flipping those three states keeps him below 270. All Joe Biden needs is Arizona, which... Honestly, don't get me wrong, Joe Biden has a pretty good shot at flipping Arizona considering how the state is trending towards the Democrats and it's not really this Republican state as it used to be from the past. So, when I talk about this electoral map advantage for Joe Biden, the reason why there is an electoral map advantage for Joe Biden for 2024 specifically is because Donald Trump flips three states and you expect the candidate who uh, that flips three states to win the election, right? If a candidate flips three states, you would expect them to win the election. But in this case, Donald Trump flips three states. He is still below 270, and that's the electoral map I'm talking about, advantage I'm talking about for Joe Biden, because Joe Biden can afford to lose three states he won in 2020. Joe Biden won Nevada in 2020. He can afford to lose it and still win the election. He won Georgia in 2020. He can afford to lose it and still win the election. Same goes for Wisconsin. Joe Biden won it in 2020. If he loses it, he still can win the election. All he needs is Arizona, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. All he needs is three, these three states. Arizona, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Which, it's not a long shot. It's definitely doable, and Joe Biden can win those states. Based off of how Arizona is trending, based off of how Michigan is looking like, it's still a pretty much likely comfortably democratic state they just recently elected Gretchen Whitmer by double digits and Pennsylvania they have a democratic senator democratic governor those states are looking like they're going to Joe Biden in 2024 and all Joe Biden needs is Arizona to go with Michigan and to go with Pennsylvania that's all he needs and he's at 271 Donald Trump even if he flips these three states if Donald Trump flips Nevada, if Trump flips Georgia, if Trump flips Wisconsin, that is three flips. It seems like a lot, and it is a lot, and you expect the person to flip those three states to win the election, he's still below 270, and that's the electoral map advantage for Joe Biden that I am talking about. And this is Joe Biden's easiest pathway to victory. He, it puts him at 271. Joe Biden loses three states that he won in 2020, and he still wins the election. This is the easiest pathway for Joe Biden's re-election victory in 2024. And the reason why the map I have filled out right now is the easiest pathway for Joe Biden's victory in 2024 is because, like I mentioned already, Joe Biden can lose three states that he won in 2020 and still win the election. And that is his easiest pathway to victory. His easiest pathway to victory, hear me out, Joe Biden's easiest pathway to re-election in 2024 is by losing three states. That is very, I would say, you would not expect that. To lose three states that you won previously and still win the election. It, it, I think it's pretty shocking. And you probably won't believe me that I would tell you Joe Biden's easiest pathway to victory in 2024 is to lose three states that he won to lose three states that's joe biden's easiest pathway to victory by losing three states he won in 2020 from 2020 joe biden can afford to lose nevada he can afford to lose georgia and he as well can afford to lose wisconsin that's three losses for joe biden and he still wins the election with arizona that's all he needs arizona michigan and pennsylvania that's all that's all he needs so there you guys go this is Joe Biden's easiest pathway to victory. Let's uh, fill out these states. So basically, to sum this up real quick, Joe Biden's easiest pathway to victory in 2024 out of the swing states is by winning Arizona, winning Michigan, winning Pennsylvania, and that's all he needs. I mean, he's, he's obviously going to win Minnesota as well as New Hampshire, so we're not really including those, 
they're pretty much likely and same goes for uh, New Mexico and Colorado those are likely so we're not really including those so if you give Donald Trump North Carolina you you flip Donald Trump Georgia you, you give Georgia to Donald Trump as well as Nevada and Wisconsin those all can go to Donald Trump he's still below 270 meanwhile on the other end you give Joe Biden Arizona you give Joe Biden Michigan you give Joe Biden Pennsylvania that's his easiest pathway at 271 so there you guys go let me know your opinions on Joe Biden's easiest pathway and do you think this is his easiest pathway because based on off of the map on the electoral map this does surely look like this is Joe Biden's easiest pathway and this is his most realistic pathway to victory in 2024 because this is the map that I think will happen if Joe Biden gets reelected in 2024. If Joe Biden wins in 2024, this is the exact way I think the map will look like. I think Joe Biden will get 271 electoral votes if he does get reelected in 2024. By winning Arizona, winning Michigan, and Pennsylvania, he can lose Wisconsin. Joe Biden can lose Nevada. Joe Biden can lose Georgia, and he still can win the election. Just only by flip, just only by keeping Arizona, Michigan, and Pennsylvania is what I'm trying to say. So. There you guys go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Joe Biden's easiest pathway in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more. And stay tuned for Donald Trump's easiest pathway to, to 270 in the next video.